Discerning employer needs is the topic for today's career tip. Believe it or not, when an employer sends out a job description to hire a new position, it's not all in the description. And in fact, the job posting might either be incorrect or it might be outdated or it might be just a sloppy copy and paste of what the employer is looking for, you know, based on some other job that's similar, and they just didn't want to redo the job description. So you don't really know just by looking at what's posted, what an employer really wants or needs. And this question actually came from Karen, how do you identify the specific needs a company is facing? And this question actually came up as a follow-up to an earlier video and blog that I posted, um, which was around the only way to convince employers that your skills are transferable. And I talked about how you actually don't wanna focus on transferring your skills, you want to focus on what the employer needs and address that need directly. This is true if you're talking about a job that they've posted or if you're talking to an employer about a potential consulting project or freelance assignment. Uh, the issue is the same, is that you are not so much selling a specific skill set, you are addressing their need at hand. So that was the, the topic of the earlier blog. And then Karen wrote a follow-up question around, well, how do you determine what that need is? And so discerning employer needs is the topic for this video and blog. Okay, so really the, the first thing to do is to use published research because the company is going to post about themselves, uh, about their business, um, in on their website, they're going to issue press releases that talk about uh, upcoming initiatives. And so you really want to follow the company and get a sense for what they're working on. You also want to look at their competitors, their websites, their press releases to get a sense for what is happening in the industry overall so that you can start to, to think about Okay, based on what my role is, so if you are going for a human resources position, you might be looking at what is this company announcing and what are the people issues, therefore, that are going to be attached to that, that are going to impact my work, potential work uh, in human resources for this company. You also want to look at the general news and specifically trade journals that follow the industry or the area that the company is in. And for something like, let's say, a human resources role, just to continue that example, you also would want to look at uh, trade journals in the HR space and stay on top of the functional area in addition to whatever industry uh, and company you're targeting. And then, of course, there are also resources available at your alma mater or at your local university if you can um, access those. So using career services, which may have um, information about different employers, uh, tapping into academic departments. And so if you are, let's say, going after the life sciences industry, um, they might be using professors um, as consultants. They might be uh, working with graduate students doing research. And so there might be people there that are active in a relevant academic department who know something about the industry, about specific companies or about that area. And then of course, alumni chapters are ways uh, to tap into information as well. So, you know, good segue, thinking about alumni chapters, what would you do with that? Well, you're going to be networking with people. You're going to be talking to them, people who have worked at this company, people who are working at this company. And you are going to take these informational interviews and you're going to use the information that you glean uh, from these exploratory meetings, from these exploratory interviews uh, to give you some information that you aren't going to be able to find from published sources. And when you are conducting these informational interviews, you really want to focus on what I call testing hypotheses rather than simply asking questions. You're not going down a checklist around, well, what do you think uh, is 
necessary for this job? Or can you describe what would make a good HR consultant for this type of a company? You, you really want to come up with what you think the employer needs are. And you want to test that with the people that you're talking to. You can say, I've been reading about XYZ. And I think that this is an important issue that a lot of companies in that sector, in that industry, in that specific focus area uh, need to need to think about. And the person who is active in that area can say yes or no. They can add their colors and their insights and their nuances. And you can have a robust discussion that goes deeper than what the published information says. And ultimately, what you're trying to ascertain is what is a job well done? What does it mean to do this job well? That's actually what the employer wants and needs, is to have a problem solved, is to have um, a job done so that they can focus on other things. And like I said, the job posting may or may not be accurate, up-to-date, comprehensive. And so all of this, the published information, the informational interviews, and conducting them in a way where you're investigating hypotheses, all of this should drive towards discerning what those specific employer needs are.